Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Chemistry Tutor. We're going to practice the concepts of diffusion and more specifically effusion as it relates to a couple of problems here. So the first problem says, which effuses faster under the same conditions? Nitrogen gas, N2 gas, or argon gas? Um, notice that it doesn't give us the temperature of the gases. All it does is say that these two gases are under the same conditions, and it's asking us which one effuses faster. This is custom written for the relation that we've already developed that the ratio of the effusion rates is uh, related to the ratio of the molar masses. And specifically, um, specifically, we know from this problem that the molar mass of nitrogen gas is two times, because of the two here, 14 uh, with some rounding there. So you can say 28.0 grams per mole. Uh, and you can say the mass of argon gas, there's no diatomic molecule, so you just look at straight up on the periodic table, 39.9 grams per mole. Now we already learned from before that the effusion rate, uh, normally we write it as gas one and gas two, but now we know what the gases are, so I'll write it as effusion rate of N2 over the effusion rate of argon. What's that going to be equal? We know it's going to be the square root of the ratio of their molar masses, but if you remember, it's flip-flopped for the effusion rate. It's, if this is gas 1 and gas 2, this is molar mass 2, molar mass 1. So this is going to be the molar mass of argon on the top, and this is going to be the molar mass of N2 on the bottom. It's flip-flopped from the way we have it written right here. So it's the square root, and if you look this guy up, we already wrote down that it's 39.9 grams per mole, and this guy we already calculated 28.0 grams per mole. Uh, well, we don't have to write the units necessarily, so we'll just leave it like that, and then we will say that these, uh, the diffusion rate of N2 uh, as a ratio compared to the effusion rate of argon gas you divide these guys and then take the square root, you get 1.2. What does this mean? Notice the rate of effusion of the numerator divided by the rate of effusion of this other gas is greater than 1. It's 1 1.2. That means that the effusion rate of nitrogen is 1.2 times greater than the effusion rate of argon. I'll say that again. It means the rate of effusion of the nitrogen gas is faster than argon. And how much faster? It's 1.2 times as fast. That's what that means, OK? The question is, why is that the case? Well, it says that which, it asks which effuses faster under the same conditions. That's code that means under the same temperature, basically, because the effusion rates uh, is related to the speeds, right? Of the, the RMS speeds, which is related to the, to the temperatures. And so if everything's under the same conditions, we have the same 